Where do you find your fulfillment? Not in the object, but again in yourself. So in one place, name it Chetana, the one experience, one experience, which is your nature, in whose presence everything always happens. Everything is existing, it is immortal. Everything is known, it is all knowledge. That same happiness finds in every sensation. Vishayananda, Brahmananda. That is only Ananda. Brahmananda is the only thing there. Absolute bliss. That is yourself. In every other sensation, tasya matrameva bhujivandi. The same thing comes out in a sight or a sound or a touch or a taste or a smell. Why do you like the bit in, in among these five sensations? Think of it. Among these five sensations, listening to a sound, think, listening to a sound for music, touching something or somebody, intimate touch, seeing something exotic, eating something very, very tasty and enjoying a vegetable fragrance. In all these five senses, what is, for you, what is the most intense sense experiences? Please tell me. You don't have to tell me. You think for yourself. But everybody doesn't like everything. Everybody doesn't like only sound is the best for, no. for somebody, sound is the best. For somebody, touch is the best. For somebody, taste is the slave of a taste. Somebody slave up a smell, somebody slave up a sight. But if you look at yourself, what is that experience, remember, what is that experience, sensation, which is intense, most intense? Whatever it is, do you know why do you call it most intense? Because if you are experiencing that sensation, that sensation drowns every memory of yours. When I listen to that music, wow. I touch something or somebody, oh, oh. I see that sight, oh. everything is forgotten. I taste that, everything is forgotten. I smell that, everything is forgotten. Why? Because every thought, listen, all that is heard, seen, tasted, touched outside, my, my sense organs are forced to be closed up. I open, close my eyes and all that stuff and that is completely negated, dismissed. And that sensation is so intense, even the thoughts are suspended, helplessly you are going to yourself. Think. That is why you start from Anuhava, then logic, then Shruti. That day I, was, I don't know whether I was telling you something. We say, Shruti, Yukti, Anuhava. Going to Shruti straight means what? Dealing with other people's experiences. Then, logically try to prove whether it is right or wrong. How will I logically prove it? Put it, practice or put it into test in your own life. Suppose the teacher knows it, he will not trail you straight away, go there to the uh, Shruti. Analyze your experiences. <laughs> Anuhava. Oh, I like the flower. You like the flower or the color of the flower? Taste of the flower. Smell of the flower. Sound of the music. Will you like music or the sound of music? Sensations of it or the object as such? Oh, these things only I like it. Uh-huh. Logically, when you are listening to that object, you are forgetting that object. So what are you enjoying? The presence of the object or the thoughts are forgotten? Our thoughts are forgotten. Logically, that's true. Acha. If the thoughts are forgetting, that will give you happiness. What does it mean? You are creating a condition. If the moment the thoughts return, that will go away. So, can your happiness be the absence of thought? No. Presence of thought? No. That's a condition. That means, unconditional. Your happiness, self-consciousness, 
that moment it doesn't depend upon presence or absence of the object presence or absence of the sensation presence or absence of the thought presence or absence of the i thought you are always there that is what shruti says 